Australian government is refusing to accept the IRA apology for the killing of the two young Australians in Romont. Do you take any consolation from the fact that the IRA has apologised for this mistake? We're glad that the Australian government has rejected the apology. But, but do you reject it? Yes. So, as Australians and part of the Commonwealth, did you yourselves, before this, have any sympathy with the conflict? No. No, we don't... I mean, Australia has a very large Catholic community. How do you feel about those people who maybe do have sympathies with Northern Ireland? Excuse me, why are you asking this? Let's try to ask questions about the police investigation itself, please. Zijn er nog vragen? Oh. Mr. O'Keefe, how's your little brother doing? Ja, maar dat iemand een wapen heeft aangeraakt wil nog niet zeggen dat hij ermee heeft verschoten. Zit je nou te zeuren, lieve schat? Alleen een lid van ESU kan zo'n wapen gebruiken. My brother is a student on a gap year who, like so many other young people, has spent the last few months traveling through Europe. It is despicable that he has been imprisoned here without any evidence whatsoever, simply because he is related to me for far too long. Young Irish men and women have been subject to this form of discrimination. Thank you. Uh, Mr. O'Keefe, Mr. O'Keefe. Hello? Hello, this is Peter Winston here, BBC News. I was wondering, could you comment on the arrest in the Netherlands of Fiona Hughes and Paul O'Keefe? I'm oh, sorry, uh, how did you get this number? Another question. Would you like to comment on the role the British Secret Service has or hasn't played in the failed prevention of these attacks? No, I have no comment. But you are planning to testify in court? No, I, uh... Because you realise that could be quite dangerous, don't you? I'm sorry. Could you tell me your name again, please? <laughs> 